After our athletes have had the ability to master the rudiment series, working through continuous jumps, forward, backward, in a lateral fashion, double leg and single leg, that is basically the progression and foundation to create good bounders. So upon completing the rudiment series, we've now put our athletes in a position where we will start the bounding progression, and that's what we're gonna go over next. Now we're gonna work on short bounds, alternating, okay? So what I want you to do is right, left, right, left, a little bit of vertical nature to it. I want you to cover about a meter's worth of distance, okay? Swing in the arms in opposition, take it to 10 meters. Good. Here we go. And now I want you to take this bound more horizontal. So work it out a little bit farther, try and get a little bit more distance on the bound. So still alternating bounds, alternating arms, but try and work down the track a little bit farther with each bound. Okay. Good. Alyssa. Now we're gonna take that bound and I want you to work vertically, okay? So alternating legs, swing the arms, but now orient your body upright and tall and try and work vertical with each bound, still going through 10 meters. He was a little flat, try and work tall, okay? Good. So now we're gonna go to a right, right, left, left bound. Right, right, left, left, keep the feet flat, posture up nice and tall. Nice, here we go. The final bound of the bound progression is gonna be a single leg bound. That's essentially the most advanced bound you can do. It's typically not a bound that I would do with any beginning athlete. It's something that you definitely have to build into and they have to show the posture, the strength, and the coordination to be able to manage a single leg bound over a distance. So let's see what they've got. Single leg bound. That's pretty good. Nice. 